So I've seen this photo kicking around the internet for a while, taken in the late 50s from the helicopter of Colonel Remy van Leerd, a Belgian Second World War pilot and fighter ace. Mostly posted with the clickbait claims of 200 foot snake, which is four times larger than this titanoboa, the largest snake found in the fossil record. Now I'm not saying it's not possible for a snake at some point in the past to have grown bigger than 50 feet, but we have no evidence. But wait, I hear you cry. You showed us the photo. It clearly shows a 200 foot snake. Does it? I see a big looking snake, but I don't see anything we can use for scale. But the termite mounds! Well, if you mean the shadows of termite mounds, without relying on numbers we have to guess at, we don't really know how high the sun is, we don't know if the train is flat, and we don't know how far away the camera is. We need all three bits of data to make a remotely accurate estimation of size. So if we look at this simplified recreation of the scene, the front termite mound is a cone one unit high, one unit wide, and 30 units from the camera. The second mound at the back is also one unit by one unit, and 45 units from the camera, 33% further away, and appears to be 33% or one third smaller. Go get a ruler and check, I'll wait. So if we bring that mound forward, but keep the relative scale, it looks like this. Let's line them up and we can fit seven close mounds but 10 far mounds, that's 30% more. So the figure you get is relative to the distance between all three objects, camera, snake, and mounds. Oh, and watch the shadows as I change the time of day. On the episode of Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World entitled Dragons, Dinosaurs, and Giant Snakes, well, I'll let Colonel Van Leer speak for himself. To make several passes over the hole where the snake was in, enabled to let the man take a picture of it. And I made certainly between four and six passes right over the hole where the snake was in. By then I was already flying for 25 years, so I have a very good experience of uh, measuring things. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot, close to 50 feet. I don't know, you say 50 foot or 50 feet, but very close to certainly. So. We have a 50 foot snake, not small by any means, but it's not much bigger than other large snakes found in various parts of the world. The largest snake in captivity being about 25 feet, and the largest wild snake is 33 feet, or evidence for this one is sketchy, possibly 48 feet long. So don't accept everything you see as fact, and if you think I've missed something, please comment below.